G'day guys, this is Ben from Vibrancy Design. I'm here bringing you a Photoshop tutorial this time. Now you'll notice here what we have is a uh, simple design on a shirt. But what you'll notice is that it actually follows some of the shading of the shirt itself. And what is really cool is we can move this around as well. And you can see that uh, shading passing through. So how do we do this? It's actually quite simple. All right, so what I've provided for you guys is two images. One is this shirt just by itself and the other one is this um, image here which is just says this is a cool shirt which indeed it will be. All right so what I want you guys to do is download both those and then we're going to get started. All right so with both of those we've got that one and that one. Let's drag and drop this one just by uh, making sure we've got the normal move tool selected drag it over right into the middle there and then maximize this one. All right, now the first thing to do is, I guess, to uh, scale this to about how big you want it to be, which for me will be about that size. I thought I'd be kind of cool and put it on a slight angle. All right, so I'll leave it about that. Okay, and then uh, just hitting enter to confirm that. And uh, there we go. All right, now you'll notice that this one uh, simply just has the uh, image by itself. There's no shading in there. So how do we get some of these creases to carry on through? Okay, here we go. Well, let's just first turn off this layer that we just pasted. And we'll go across to our original one. Now holding Control or Command if you're on a Mac and hitting J will duplicate that. Okay, so now we've got two identical layers. Now what I want you to do is make this one grayscale. And in case you don't notice, I'm a fairly shortcut kind of person. So going Control or Command, Shift U is going to remove all the color from that. Now what we need to do is isolate all these creases, all the dark shades from them, from the rest of it. So now hitting Control L, which is the same as going Levels, which is you'll find through here. So Control L will bring this up. And what we want to do is we want to crush this a lot. So we'll notice that the image is turning quite white. And now let's bring this part in so we can bring some of those shadows in as well. Okay, so we want it to be about that. All right, so we've got that one set. Now let's drag this layer up above our logo. So you can see that one's behind it. And now what you need to do is set the blend mode of this top layer to multiply. So now what you'll notice is this has made the shadows of the entire shirt quite dark. But then the final step, which is really quite cool, is you hold down Alt or Option, I believe, on the Mac. Uh, put your cursor right between these two layers and you'll notice that the cursor changes to a funny overlapping symbol. If we now click while that's showing, we're going to um, restrict this layer to only show up for the alpha channel of this one. Okay, so I'll demonstrate what this means. If we uh, click on this one and then hit the lock button, which means we can't actually touch it, and we can drag this around. And what it's doing is it's only showing up that top layer with, which has all the shading in it where this, where this layer is possible or where this layer is showing through, which is really quite cool. And now if you need to undo any fine tuning to this, you can always go back and um, adjust that like so. Dragging this up and down. There's probably not a whole lot of difference you can see, but you can have a bit of fun like that. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really cool. You can uh, apply any image you want, except it needs to have an alpha channel, so it needs to uh, have transparency behind it. And just a quick other tip, because you, know, you guys are free to, um, to use your shirt image for any of your other designs, but if you don't want it, specifically an orange shirt, here's an easy way to change that. Now down on the layers panel, click on the adjustment layer, and come up to hue and saturation. Now you can just uh, twirl this one across and you can make this shirt any color you like. Or if you perhaps only wanted to make it a gray one or a black or white shirt, you can desaturate it and then adding a levels adjustment, you can make that lighter or darker depending on what you want. All right, so that should um, yeah, be helpful. And I hope this um, tutorial has been good. Okay, this has been, see you guys.